again. Singing together unto Him. We are singing together unto Him. Unto Him shall the singing of the people be. We are singing together unto Him. We are offering together unto Him. We are offering together unto Him. Unto Him shall the offering of the people be. We are offering together unto Him. Good morning, my dear sisters and brothers. Good morning, Good morning Father. Father. This Mass is offered for departed soul of Balabadas Rosali by Lima Arumainadan and family, for all souls in purgatory by Sharin and family, for intention of Lakshmi for a marriage and for a personal intention, intention of Lakshmi for delivery from all the evil of a mother and a mother's conversion. And also thanksgiving to Blessed Virgin Mary by Rasa, Vinod, and family. Let us begin the celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, today our Holy Mother Church celebrates the feast of St. Dominic, the habit, priest, and also who started the order of preachers. Today as you celebrate his feast, also remember the blessings that he received through our Blessed Virgin Mary. And Mother Mary instituted the holy devotion to the Holy Rosary through St. Dominic, St. Dominic used Mother Mary's rosary as a weapon to fight against all the heresies and it became an instrument to show how powerful is our mother and the rosary what we recite to her. With this confidence, as we participate in the Holy Eucharist, let's ask even sorry for our sins and shortcomings. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May St. Dominic come to the help of your church. By his merits and teaching, O Lord, may he who was outstanding preacher of your truth be a devoted intercessor on our behalf. Through the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and lives and reigns in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Prophet Habakkuk. Are you not from everlasting, O Lord my God, my Holy One? We shall not die. O Lord, you have ordained them as a judgment, and you, O Rock, have established them for chastisement. You who are of purer eyes than to behold evil and cannot look on wrong, why do you look 
on faithless men and be silent when the wicked swallows up the man more righteous than he for you make men like the fish of the sea like crawling things that have no ruler he brings all of them up with a hook he drags them out with his net he gathers them in his sign so he rejoices and exults therefore he sacrifices to his net and burns incense to his sign for by them he lives in luxury and his food is rich is he then to keep on emptying his net and mercilessly slaying nations forever i will take my stand to watch and station myself on the tar and look forth to see what he will say to me and what i will answer concerning my complaint and the lord answered me write the vision make it plain upon tablets so he may run who reads it for still the vision awaits its time it hastens to the end it will not lie for it seems slow wait for it it will surely come it will not delay behold he whose soul is not upright in him shall fail but the righteous shall live by his faith the word of the lord thanks, thanks be to god, god. sam your response you will not forsake those who seek you o lord you, you will, will not, not forsake those who seek, who seek you, you o lord. lord the lord sits enthroned forever he has set up his throne for judgment he will judge the world with justice he will govern the peoples with equity your response You, you will, will not, not forsake, forsake those who seek, who seek you, you o lord. lord for the oppressed the lord will be a stronghold a stronghold in times of distress those who know your name will trust you you will not forsake those who seek you o lord your response You, you will, will not, not forsake, forsake those who, who seek you, O Lord. Sing psalms to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Tell his mighty works among the peoples, for the avenger of blood has remembered them, has not forgotten the cry of the poor. Your response? You, you will, will not forsake those who seek you, O Lord. Lord. Please stand for the acclamation. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia, sing alleluia. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Our savior Christ Jesus abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel sing alleluia to the lord sing alleluia to the lord sing alleluia sing alleluia sing alleluia to The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. 
At the time, a man came up to Jesus and kneeling before him said, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is in epileptic and he suffers terribly, for often he falls into the fire and often into the water too. I brought him to your disciples, they could not heal him. And Jesus answered, O faithless and pursuer generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him here to me. Jesus rebuked him, and the demon came out of him, and the boy was cured instantly. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, Why could we not cast it out? He said to them, Because of a little faith. For truly I say to you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. If you have faith, nothing will be impossible to you. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 17, verses 20. Your sisters and brothers, today is the first reading taken from Prophet Abakuk, a minor prophet, but the prophet who was sent by God during the time of crisis running in the midst of people. There were righteous people, there were false people who were acting as righteous. But God finds out the heart of each and every person. God knows who is wearing mask who shows off. That's how today, in the first reading, he calls out, and the people offering a lot of prayer to him. But God sends Prophet Abaku, write down my words, write down my prophecy, write down the visions. The one who is righteous truly, who has a faith, definitely he shall live. This is the word God says. And also Lord says, one more thing, very apt for us, he says, the visions, the prophecies, the promise, whatever I said, it will come. Sometimes it may take time, but don't lose your heart, wait. It will happen, whatever God has said. That's what Jesus says, whatever has been said, not a single word, not a single iota will pass without fulfilling it. We see Prophet Isaiah speaking to all of us. The word of God is like the rain which pours out from the sky or heaven until it fulfills the purpose, sprouts out everything on the ground, makes the ground wet, fertile. It will not come back to me, unfruitfully says. Similarly, God uses Prophet Abakuk to say to everyone, whatever we receive the promise of God, whatever the blessing that God has said to us may not fulfill now. It may take time, but it will happen. Wait for it. Wait for, with faith, with hope. Never ever to lose your faith and hope. God says, and this is what is very important for us, wait for the Lord. What the Lord has promised to us, it will happen. The God has said he'll protect us, he'll protect us. The God said he'll feed us, he'll feed us. God said he'll give a gift of child, gift of marriage, gift of job, gift of everything, he will give us. Wait for it. This is what the God has promised. Even through prophet Jeremiah, we see... 23, 29, and 14, he promises so beautifully. He says that, I have a plan for you, a best future for you. Why you worry? Don't get upset. Don't lose your heart. There's a trouble around you, the trouble in your family, the trouble from your neighbors, and from all the influential. Don't worry. I am there, my shield, my protection for you. So my dear sisters and brothers, never ever to lose hope. There are times we are lost our hope. God has said so many years over, nothing happened. I am keep on praying, nothing is happening. Don't lose your hope and faith. It's very important, perseverance and persistence. That is what God also looks at. Whether my son, my daughter is waiting for me. That's what, whether my son and daughter keep on praying on the same intention, the Lord will wait. That's what, the perseverance, persistence is very important to be a good Catholic. Based on that, definitely will receive the blessings that God says. And today's gospel, we need faith is important, Jesus says here. 
If you have faith, nothing will be impossible. Jesus himself uses the word. There are two incidents we see in today's gospel. The one incident is this. Jesus is at Mount Tabor, and Jesus is finishing his transfiguration, coming down with the three apostles, James, John, and Peter. And the other, you might be remembering, if three minus in 12, how many will be there? The nine of them. The nine of them down, they're just waiting for Jesus. That is the time one of the man, he brings his son, epileptic, it's one of the kind of disease, where he cannot stand suddenly like why we call like bipolar so things and all psychological effects suddenly will react and he'll get this fix what we call it up all this kind of disease it is so the man comes and says sometimes my son gets into fire son gets into water and he makes sure that this is not only just a psychological sickness something evil spirit has been possessed him he has become slave to that so they come and ask you being with jesus do some miracle the apostles also, in stylish way, they start doing. Sometimes we see, you know, some of our preachers, they do that. Jesus is there making some kind of sounds in our lips and nose and all. So this kind of same thing, these apostles were doing, nine of them. And nothing happened. It's a great insult for God himself. And when Jesus is approaching there, this man goes to Jesus, please help out. The first incident, nothing has happened. The apostles, they think this fellow is not worthy. They perceive like that. They're not worthy to receive the blessing and deliverance of God. There's the first incident. The second incident is, happens, this man approaches Jesus. He approaches the apostles, nothing happens. But he approaches Jesus. The first point we should make note very well. The man and the boy had a faith. The man and the boy had a faith. That's what he come to the apostles. They will do something, some miracle will happen. But what happened? Apostles didn't have a faith. So the miracle didn't happen. The second part is this. The man, again with the same faith, he approaches Jesus. And he approaches Jesus, the miracle happens. The second point is this. Man's faith is the same. In the first part, the apostles, there is no faith. The second part, there is a faith. Jesus had faith in the Heavenly Father on himself. The miracle happened. So that is what we see. Jesus looks at the apostles immediately. He just gives a shouting fire at them. You faithless generation, useless people, how long I have to be with you? How long I have to bear with you? How long I have to tolerate you? This is not apostles. To us also you are saying that. Sometimes when we lose our faith, as I said, Abakuk says, if you're not waiting to God, he looks at and says that. We are same category people. He says, how long I have to be with you? How long I have to tolerate? When are you going to do my mission and ministry? When are you going to take my place? That is what Jesus puts. It's a very, very beautiful passage today. The Lord is speaking in Gospel of Matthew chapter 17, verses 14 on says. So the man's faith is same, but the one who produces the God's blessing, his faith is to be very important. So my dear sisters and brothers, as Jesus said, if you have a size of mustard seed, your faith, you can uproot the tree, uproot the mountain. Then why? Whatever you are praying, not happening. The one reason could be God is taking his own time. As I said, a bakuk, it will happen. Wait. The second reason could be we are lacking faith. We are lacking in faith. That's what it's very important for us. To being a Catholic, to being a Christian is not important. To being a Christian or a Catholic, we need to have the faith as Jesus said. Because Jesus said the apostles and disciples, when they come and ask Jesus, why we couldn't cast it out? Why this not happened with us? Jesus indirectly said, you stay with me. You remain with me, you eat with me, you sleep with me, and you walk with me, you see all the things, but you're not practicing what I'm practicing. You're not practicing what I'm practicing, remaining faithful to God, faithful to whom he has given to us. Not spending our time in prayer, not spending our time in fasting and asking for the discernment of the Holy Spirit. And fourth, Jesus says that, you are lacking the sincerity towards yourself and God. My dear sisters and brothers, this all comes in phrasing out only one. 
that we have love in God definitely will become like a God. That's what Jesus is calling each and every one of us. Never ever once again receive a firing from God. As he said, Oh, you faithless, perseverance generation. Oh, you worthless, useless. Let us ask Jesus to give the grace for us, the gift of faith, to perform the miracle. Through our prayer, our brothers and sisters may receive the benefit and the blessings. At the same time, the faith as well as the persistence and perseverance is very important in our life to be a Catholic. Let's wait for the Lord. And the women in the gospel kept on going to Jesus, kept on asking, please do something for my daughter, daughter, daughter. We also continue to pray with all our prayers and intentions, never to lose our heart and hope. Definitely, God will bless us and He will provide us. And also finally ask God the gift of faith to pray to Him and to be His disciple. Amen. Bless the Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine, work of a human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice, yours, may be acceptable, God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Attend mercifully to the prayers we offer you, O Lord, by the intercession of Saint Dominic, through the great power of the sacrifice, strengthened by the protection of your grace those who champion the faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of all saints, and the crowning the merits you crown your own gift. By the own life you offer as an example, by communion with them, you give us a companionship. By the intercession, show us support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as a victors in the race before us, and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels, thrones, and the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praises. As without end, we acclaim, Holy, 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 holy God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy day for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly in his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave a disciple saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks to held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Let's remember all the departed souls in our families and our communities. Very especially remember the soul of Vallabhadas Rosali. We pray for all souls in purgatory offered by Shannon family. We especially pray for all the departed ones during this pandemic time, even the religious. We pray for the soul of George Victoria Anthony de Souza. We pray for all those souls that have been not remembered. Have mercy, Lord, in your people. Welcome them into your kingdom. Forgive all the sins, accept them as their own of yours. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy on the families who gathered here. Have mercy on the families who are participating in the Holy Eucharist through the live channels. Lord, we place everyone, all their prayers and intentions on this altar. Very especially we pray, those who ask us to pray, to whom we promised all our prayers, those who are sick, those who are under treatment, those who are hospitalized, those are placing various kinds of intentions in the prayers we offer. We pray for the intention of Lakshmi for a marriage and for a personal intentions and deliverance from all kinds of evil that she's facing and also conversion of her mother. Lord, very specially we pray, those offering this Mass of Thanksgiving to you, Rasa, we know that family, all the devotee of Mother Mary and those who are bearing the name of Dominic Saint. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, his spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, Saint Anthony, Saint Francis Xavier, Saint Dominic, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs of eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, such apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus be with you always. And with, with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, 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 peace. Lamp of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamp of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamp of God. He said to have a faith, faith in God, waiting for Him, faith in God, the miracle will happen instantly too. The one who trusts has faith in God will see the wonders and miracle in his life and family. Happy are those called to the supper of this living God. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
an act of spiritual communion my jesus my jesus i believe i believe that you are present that you are present in the most holy sacrament in the most holy sacrament i love you i love you above all things above all things and i desire earnestly and i desire earnestly to receive you into my soul to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally receive you sacramentally come spiritually into my heart come spiritually into my heart i embrace you i embrace you as you are already there as you are already there in my heart in my heart and unite myself and unite myself wholly to you wholly to you never permit me never permit me to be separated from you to be separated from you amen amen This is a steward faithful and prudent whom the Lord set over his household to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. Let us pray. May your church, O Lord, receive with wholehearted reverence the power of this heavenly sacrament by which we have been nourished on the commemoration of St. Dominic. And may your church, having flourished by means of his preaching, be helped through his intercession through Christ our Lord amen prayer to saint anthony o, o loving saint anthony, anthony you were a special, special witness of god's power and, and a loving imitator of jesus who received from god the special power of restoring lost things and the patron of the poor we lift up our prayers to you We trustfully and confidently ask your aid in, in our present need. Help all of us in our daily struggles, giving us hope and peace. Pray for us, Saint Anthony, so that we may continue to grow in God's love. Intercede for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you and with, with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your families. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you, remain with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Man can live as an island, journeying through life alone. Since we're most loved by our mother, Jesus gave us his own. Be with us, Mary, along the way. Guide every step we take. Lead us to Jesus, your loving son. Come with us, Mary, come. Jesus met with rejection, Mary stood by the cross. How can a mother desert her son? She'll also stand by us. Be with us, Mary, along the way. Guide every step we take. Lead us to Jesus. Your loving son, come with us, Mary. Come, come with us, Mary. Come with us, Mary. Come with us. Mary.
Thank you.